Welcome to Nathan and Lawrence's Instagram Story Growth Course. Today we'll be looking at subtitles. And subtitles are really crucial if you want to catch someone's attention when they are not using their volume. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you three ways to add subtitles to your videos. For this tutorial, we'll be using four different apps. So I'm gonna show you how to use four different apps to create subtitles. And the first one is called Video Leap, which we've used in our previous video uh, where we showed you how to create masks. And that knowledge is very useful to us now because we're gonna use that a lot. So check out that video um, if you haven't seen it before getting started with this one. So let's uh, jump into Focus, which is an app that allows you to read very quickly. So as you can see here, it shows the, the letters on your screen one by one. And that's actually how we're going to use very, very nifty subtitles to put in our videos. So what you can do with Focus is you can jump into their example and you can go to text mode where you can write your own text or paste it, then get back into the editing mode. And here that number 240 shows you how fast it's going to appear. So 240 words per minute. We can adjust that speed because right now, when we go to the beginning of our text, you can see it's going to take 10 seconds, which is perfect for a story. So what you want to do now is you want to record your screen by pressing the record screen button and press play. Now we're going to wait for this cycle to complete, which is 10 seconds. And then we're going to go out of it and stop the screen recording. So we press stop the screen recording. And next, we're going to go into Video Leap, where we're going to add a new video so I'm just going to use this one and I'm going to quickly press it and mute the audio because we don't need the audio for this video and we're going to import our screen recording of the text so first of all we want to have an adequate size I'm going to use this size which is fine by me I'm gonna position it the text where I want it to be and I'm going to cut it to the point where it actually starts showing the words word by word I'm going to reposition the layer by dragging it, by clicking and dragging. And now I'm going to use a mask. Now, if you've seen my previous video, you'll be familiar with that. So we're pressing on the mask option, but instead of using a linear, like in the previous video, we can choose to use a mirror, which will look like this. So we can adjust that mirror by uh, sliding, by making it smaller like that. But I don't want to use that one. I want to, well, let me just cut this up a little bit more like so because it leaves too much white. And instead, I'm going to use a rectangle. And as you can see, we have rounded corners. So we're going to just, instead of making them more rounder, we're going to make them squared off. And we're going to make it smaller just so that it covers the words. We're not too small, because otherwise, longer words won't fit in this square. So we're going to pull those tabs here and make it a bit longer and like so. And now, when we press play, Oh, uh, it's, we're gonna see that we have subtitles on screen. Very easy, very quickly, and you can easily do it yourself by using the Video Leap and Focus app. That's it for the first way of getting subtitles on your videos. Now, for the second way, we're gonna use a Notes app, which is, well, we're actually use, using a Notes and Sutori app. Sutori is a great app for creating beautiful stories um, that have their own unique custom layout. So you can see here all the different options. We can use this to actually create really cool stories. So for example, we're gonna use this template here. We're gonna put a video here and subtitles here. So I'm gonna go out of the Satori app because first we need to create our subtitles. And for that, we're gonna use the Notes app, it can be any Notes app, and we're gonna turn on screen recording again. So we're pressing that button and we're gonna start writing our text. There you go, we've written our text and now we'll stop the screen recording. I'm not gonna do that for the sake of a tutorial and it'll be in our photos album. All right, so we have recorded our notes or our subtitles in the notes app and now we'll jump into the video leap to make some adjustments. I'm gonna create a new project, press the plus button, add that video in, so add it to a new project. And what we wanna do here is we're gonna trim it down to the point where we're happy with uh, what we see. So I'm gonna press that layer. I'm gonna use the split tool 
like so, but you can also use those arrows to make it shorter. And then I'm going to go back in the toolbar, press remove, go to the beginning of the video, have a look, and that's fine, but it's very, very slow, so I don't like that. I want, to, I want it to be faster because it has to fit into a story. So I'm going to press the speed button. What I did here was press the layer and then go in the toolbar to speed and speed that up. So now we see it's only four seconds. Now we can, we can leave it a bit faster, slower like that. Now it's eight seconds. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna play it back once to check. And as you can see, we have our subtitles appearing pretty accurately in speed. We're gonna export that video, like so, to photos. There you go. And we're gonna jump back into the Sutori app, because now we're going to add our video layer in this part, like so, and our subtitles in here. And now we just have to reposition this, like that, and we have subtitles in our video with some extra text that you want to highlight the video there and we can start exporting it by pressing or we can preview it and you can see this is how it will look with subtitles very easy very quickly and it looks very professional right so we can just export that if we want and that's all it takes and now for the third method i'm going to use video leap and I'm just going to add a new video. So I'm just using the same example as I did last time, but this time I'm going to add subtitles based on what I can hear. So it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to raise a child. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a text layer by going into our toolbar here, press text and it'll show us a text layer. And we're going to go a bit further so we can start seeing it and double tap to edit it. So we're gonna write and that's going to be our subtitle. I'm gonna pinch the zoom to make it a bit smaller, position it where I want it to be. And now, let me just check that it starts at the right time. But what is a village? No, so I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shift that back a bit Okay, so I, wanna, I want it to start here. I'm gonna shift that layer to that begin point. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in an animation. You can or cannot, you, you can choose to, whether or not you wanna do that, but I'm gonna do it for this sake so you learn a little bit extra. And when we press play. It takes a village to raise a child. And I'm gonna pause it and shorten it by pulling this arrow. And now we can just Rinse and repeat until we have the entire video subtitled. But to make it a bit cooler, we can add in some animations. So when we press uh, on that text layer, like so, we see we have the animation option and we can choose an in animation with some examples here. So I'm gonna use the slide in this example and I'm gonna jump out of it and go to the out animation and I'm gonna use another slide animation. And what we'll see now is a sliding subtitle. And that's how we can continue adding subtitles to this particular video. So that's it for the three ways to add subtitles. All right, so that's it for adding subtitles to your videos. Three awesome ways that you can use any way you want to make your videos more captivating. Follow us on Instagram by looking for Nathan and Lawrence or Nathan and Lawrence videos and hit that like and subscribe button to help our channel grow. As always, see you soon and see you later.